Hello everyone, today we are going over the brand new 2022 Corolla Cross in the XLE all-wheel drive package. So this is a two liter four cylinder engine. They average 7.8 liters per 100 kilometers combined and they get 169 horsepower. So the this redesign or re, this new design, uh, they've never had this before. It's pretty much just a smidge smaller than the RAV4 and and a bit bigger than the CHR. So they are really nice for having space but not being too big for one person um, as well as having a really nice ground clearance. So you have almost the exact same as the RAV4. I think it's like 0.1 of an inch lower um, but really nice ground clearance. Tons of space in the back so if you've got dogs or anything like that, kids, um, gardening stuff, whatever. There's just a lot of room for activities and an active life. And I find a lot of people on the island have an SUV or a truck. So it's just nice to sit up a bit higher. You're not getting blinded by all of the other headlights on the road around here. So, all right, let's take a look, get into the interior, exterior, and uh, any questions you have. Here we go. All right, so it's exterior time for the Corolla Cross XLE all-wheel drive. To begin with, you have these really nice 18-inch alloy wheels, mud and snow tires. We always do that on our cars. Nice black wheel wells, chrome accenting along the sides here. Foldable mirrors front and back with your blind spot monitors. Oh, got a bit of glue there. Got to get off. Chrome. You have the roof rails on top. So you can put crossbars if you like. Sunroof, I'll show you that from the inside. Also the smart door um, sensor. So if you tap on this, it will lock the whole car and it knows if you're here and it will unlock if you uh, hold on to it. So is that locking gas cap on here. Little shark fin antenna, kind of a nice lip there. And just a bunch of little tiny accents, like where it says Corolla Cross just looks sharp. Parking sensors along the back. This is a power back hatch. It's the only model that has that feature. So a nice lift on there. Again, little accents that say Corolla Cross, just nice touches. Really cool, compact SUV, very practical. And on the front, again, more parking sensors and this nice kind of gloss grill on there. And your fog lights down below. All right, let's take a look inside. So interior time here for the Corolla Cross. Have this nice soft tex leather, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat, even along the sides, nice soft leather um, with the chrome accents. I'm gonna show you in the back. have your cup holders in the center, map holders on the back, rubber and carpet mats. It even covers the center there and says curl across. These guys do fold down. I'll show you on the other side. And again, like I mentioned earlier, power back hatch. So I'll let that open while I put this guy down. All right. A little lip that protects the fold in between. So in this model you've got your privacy cover. It's just easy to hide anything but also easy to come out. It's just kind of like a pump action there <laughs> and that pops out. Carpet mats as the rubber mats are already in there. As you can see a lot of space. Great for dogs, gardening. Some people even like to try and camp out in here. Um, cargo net as well. In this model, you have the JBL audio, so the top of the line sound system. And underneath, your spare tire and everything that goes with it for your tools. Okay, so put that down and let's take a look inside, turn it on and go over some fun features. Again, eight-way power adjustable driver's seat. Having a seat in here. That soft text leather with a little bit of white stitching. 
You have handles for getting in and out. Dome light. So, foot on the brake for the push button start. Always very practical having that. If you ever try to lock your keys in the car, it'll let out a big long buzz as well to try and alert you to not lock your keys in the car. Handy feature. Soft text leather um, steering wheel. And on the side here, you have your climate control, dual zone climate control. Right now it's synchronized to the driver's temperature, but if you like, you can just break that sink. Heated front, rear, and mirrors, eco, and then you've got all of your adjustments there. Heated seats, high and low. I'm a bit chilly, even though it's very nice out. Heated steering wheel and your USB port. So you can connect for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Under here you have this deep, and it's also lit up as you can see, it's kind of like a light blue. Um, this is a wireless phone charger. So you just hit this button here and it will um, charge your phone. So you just lay your phone down and it will charge. Very nice uh, chrome accent on the leather wrap shift knobs, traction control, auto start stop. If you like that feature, you can turn it on or off. You have triptonic changing, so if you want to change gears manually, it will pop up your gear where it says M1. So you can easily do that as well. And down below we have your electronic park brake. You saw it just came on automatically when I put it in park. If I put it in reverse, it pops off. And the backup camera pops on with the dynamic turning on there. Put that back in park, e-brake comes back on automatically. Hold is a park brake hold. Every time you come to a full stop, it'll just hold you in spot and um, you can just use gas to go. So it's great for like stop and go traffic or anything like that. In here you have your power outlet. If you need to charge anything else, that in it for now. Your display, this is your home screen. So um, you've got your music, your average fuel economy, which is gonna be wrong because we're only 10 kilometers old. So it hasn't really been driven much. When your phone's connected, you can have your four favorite contacts or um, you can call as well from your little talk button. You can say to call someone. And your music is all on there too. AM, FM, SXM, and Bluetooth. So that is your whole in entertainment system. There's lots of different things you can do in there, whether you wanna go through your menu or audio, everything's there. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And up top you have your SOS system. So you can call fire truck, ambulance, police, has stolen vehicle locator, and your uh, adjustments for your sunroof. So you can have that fully opened or tilted with this side here and uh, lights for your uh, doors being open. Your little beauty mirror for checking on things and sun guards. Auto lights. You got your windshield wipers there, a back wiper too, and all the different um, settings you can go through on your dash. So pre-collision system that detects cyclists and pedestrians and cars, blind spot monitors that light up in your mirrors, parking sensors in the front and rear, rear cross traffic alert so it'll alert, uh, warn you when someone's driving behind you. And it will also stop the PKS to be um, will uh, basically if someone's driving behind you and you don't stop it will stop for you and you can change lots of things in your settings like if you'd rather have this as miles if you're visiting the states or anything like that uh, yeah so lots of different options for that and down here we have a windshield de-icer power back hatch button so you can open or close and your automatic high beam so your high beams will come on automatically um, and turn off with oncoming lights so overall, I really like the new Corolla Cross. I think that they did just a great job with the redesign. Um, has good visibility. It's a nice compact SUV where it almost has the exact same ground clearance as the RAV4 actually. Um, 
and the fuel economy too is, is pretty almost in par. Um, but it doesn't feel like you're driving a gigantic vehicle. And if it's only one person as well, and maybe you've got dogs or you carry things around gardening, whatever, or you just like sitting up a bit higher, this is a great vehicle and lots of nice features. So I hope you enjoyed that. All right. So what do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed uh, my video on the new Corolla Cross. If you have any questions, shoot a message below and I'd be happy to hear your thoughts um, on this new design. I personally really like it and it's been popular already. We haven't had an available one on the lot yet. They have all been pre-sold. So that's a good sign. So I'll see you in my next Toyota video.